This is one of several lengthy lockdowns we've had in our area in the past few years. Sentinel was locked down in January of 2019 for more than three hours after a loaded ammunition clip was found in a hallway. In September of 2021, Hellgate was under another lockdown after somebody overheard kids referencing a possible incident. So that's why today I sat down with Alan Baris, who is a certified active shooter response instructor in Missoula. He wrote this book, Survive a Shooting. He's helped schools, including Hellgate Elementary, learn how to defend their classrooms against a would-be shooter by teaching them how to barricade a door or use a fire extinguisher or defense spray to stop the violence. He tells me it's a very comprehensive guide that discusses the history of school violence, the fight or flight response, and how to have a plan in mind before an attack. I wanted a textbook on what the problem is, what we can do beforehand to harden targets. I wanted people to know what they could do during an active situation, which I teach escape, deny, attack back, rather than run, hide, fight, because I think the words you use have a meaning, and I'd rather people escape to safety rather than just blindly run. I don't want you hiding and hoping. That's not a plan for survival. I want you to actively do something to deny that killer access to hurt you. Another thing we talked about are the threats that come on social media, often on apps parents don't even know about. There are so many ways to communicate digitally, it's very challenging to stay on top of it all. Ellen says that's where students need to step in. To realize that when they see something like that, to report it to the proper people. And it's not snitching or anything like that. We, we don't want to give it a bad stigma because it's proactively doing something to get those people help and stopped before something terrible happens. And school shootings have been prevented because students have gone to administration. Administration took them seriously and they have prevented what could have been terrible. The Reflex Protect training also includes instructions on how to help an injured person before police and ambulances would arrive on the scene. They've trained schools, hospitals and businesses all across Montana to prepare in case of an attack.